Hello friends, welcome to IGCSE Accounting Tutorial. Today we are going to solve January 2018 question number 14. Let's start. Torn by a manufacturer of children's toys provided the following information for the year ended 31st October 2017. Stock 1st November 2016, finished goods 68,000 pounds, raw materials 45,000 pounds, work in progress 13,650 pounds. Stock 31st October 2017, finished goods 62,000 pounds, raw materials 50,600 pounds, work in progress 16,105 pounds. Factory machinery cost 350,000 pounds, accumulative depreciation 200,000 pounds. Office equipment cost 75,000 pounds, accumulative depreciation 25,000 pounds. Direct factory wages 78,600 pounds, heat and light 26,000 pounds, indirect factory wages 28,930 pounds, insurance 1,750 pounds, purchases of finished goods 22,000 pounds, purchases of raw materials 245,000 pounds, rent and rates 8,000 pounds, revenue 563,000 pounds. Additional information on 31st October 2017 insurance paid in advance amounted to 250 pounds and direct factory wages owing were 1400 pounds heat and light insurance and rent and rates are to be apportioned three-fourth to the factory and one-fourth to the administration building factory machinery is depreciated at the rate of 25 percent on the reducing balance basis office equipment is depreciated at the rate of 20 percent on a straight line basis option a Prepare the manufacturing account for the year ended 31st October 2017. So let's start. First of all, we need to understand what is a manufacturing account. There are many businesses whose activity is to manufacture goods. For those business, manufacturing account is prepared in addition to a trading and profit and loss account or income statement. In the manufacturing account, cost of production is identified. Now we will see how to prepare a manufacturing account. To prepare a manufacturing account, first of all, we need opening a stock of raw materials, which is given in the question. Stock, 1st November 2016, raw materials, 45,000 pounds. This is the opening stock of raw materials. Then comes purchases of raw materials, which is 245,000 pounds. Here is your 245,000 pounds. And the third one is closing a stock of raw materials, which is 50,600 pounds. Here is your 50,600 pounds. Now, if you add opening a stock of raw materials with purchases of raw materials and deduct closing a stock of raw materials, you will get 239400. Then you will have to add direct factory wages, which is 78,600. But there is an additional information given in the question. Direct factory wages owing were 1400 pounds. This means that Tone Buys business owe 1400 pounds to the labor. So this must be added with 78,600. And if you add 1400 with 78,600, you will get 80,000 pounds. And if you add 80,000 pounds with 239400, you will get 319400, which is your prime cost. Now I will explain you what is direct cost and what is prime cost. Direct cost are those costs which are involved in manufacturing something and are traceable to individual units being manufactured. For example, direct labor, direct materials, etc. And prime cost is the addition of all direct cost in the manufacturing account. Then comes the overheads. The other name of overheads is indirect cost. And indirect cost are those costs which are involved in manufacturing something but are not traceable to individual units being manufactured. For example, factory rent, machinery depreciation, etc. Now we will see how we have calculated the overheads expenditures. The first one was heat and light. Here is your heat and light and the amount was 26,000 pounds. But regarding heat and light, insurance and rent and rates, some additional information is given and they are heat and light insurance and rent and rates are to be apportioned three-fourths to the factory and one-fourth to the administration building. So for these three expenditures, we will charge three-fourths to the factory. So the first one was heat and light and the figure was 26,000 pounds. So three-fourth of 26,000 pounds will be 19,500. Then rent and rates, three-fourth of 8,000 pounds will be 6,000 pounds. And insurance, for insurance along with three-fourth there was one more additional information. 
and that was on 31st October 2017 insurance paid in advance amounted to 250 pounds it means that the amount which was given in the question 1750 out of 1750 250 pounds were paid in advance so this 250 pounds will not be part of current year's expenditure and 3/4 will be calculated after deducting this 250 pounds from the total figure of insurance and if you calculate you will get 1125 pounds then comes indirect factory wages here is your indirect factory wages 28930 28930 then comes depreciation factory machinery is depreciated at the rate of 25% on the reducing balance basis and according to the rules of reducing balance basis 25% will be multiplied by that figure which we will get after we deduct accumulated depreciation with the cost and the cost of factory machinery was 350000 pounds and accumulated depreciation was 200000 pounds so if you calculate you will get 37500 pounds as current years depreciation for factory machinery then if you add all overheads you will get 93055 pounds and if you add 93055 with 319400 you will get 412455 Now you will have to add opening working progress and need to deduct closing working progress. And the opening working progress was one three six five zero and closing was one six one zero five. One three six five zero and closing was one six one zero five. If you subtract one six one zero five from one three six five zero, you will get negative two four double five. And if you deduct this figure with four one two four double five, you will get four one zero triple zero. as the production cost for the year ended 31st october 2017 clear if you have any query regarding this question please comment in my comment box i will try my best to explain you next option b prepared the income statement for the year ended 31st october 2017 so let's start to prepare the income statement first of all we need the revenue and the revenue was 563000 here is your 563000 then you will have to calculate cost of sales and for that you need opening stock of finished goods 68000 pounds here is your 68000 pounds then you will have to add production cost which we identified while preparing the manufacturing account here is your 41000 41000 then you will have to add purchases of finished goods 22000 22000 and the last one was closing stock of finished goods 62000 Here is your six two triple zero. If you add sixty eight thousand plus four one zero triple zero twenty two thousand and deduct sixty two thousand, you will get four three eight triple zero, which is your cost of sales. And if you deduct four three eight triple zero from revenue, you will get one two five triple zero as gross profit. Then comes the expenses. Heat and light insurance and rent and rates was explained while preparing the manufacturing account. and on that basis the figure will be 6500 for heat and light 375 for insurance and 2000 pounds for rent and rates and the last one was depreciation for depreciation it was told office equipment is depreciated at the rate of 20% on a straight line basis and the rules of straight line basis is cost multiplied by depreciation percentage so if you multiply 20% with 75000 pounds which is the cost of office equipment you will get 15000 pounds as current years depreciation after putting all the expenses if you add these four figures you will get 23875 and if you deduct 23875 from 12500 you will get 101125 as their net profit clear next option c prepare an extract of the balance sheet to show the fixed assets at 31st october 2017 in this question we were asked to prepare the extraction of the balance sheet which shows the net book values of the fixed assets so the first fixed asset was factory machinery and the cost of that machinery was 350000 pounds and the accumulated depreciation was 200000 pounds and if you add 200000 pounds with current year depreciation which was 37500 you will get 237500 pounds which is your total depreciation and if you deduct 237500 pounds from 350000 pounds you will get 112500 pounds as factory machinery's net book value clear in the same way we will calculate the net book value of office equipment 
the cost was 75,000 pounds and the accumulated depreciation was 25,000 pounds. And if you add current GS depreciation, which is 15,000 pounds with 25,000 pounds, you will get 40,000 pounds as total depreciation. And if you deduct 40,000 pounds from 75,000 pounds, you will get 35,000 pounds at net book value of office equipment. Clear? After adding this two figure, you will get 147500, which is the total net book value of the fixed assets of Tone Buy. Clear? If you have any query regarding this video, please comment in my comment box. I will try my best to explain you. If you like my video, please share with your friends and family, like my Facebook page, subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications about my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.